And Canna unveils the design of its new skyscraper. We'll show you what's planned and tell you the one big question many are asking. Good evening, and Canna is about to build the tallest skyscraper in Calgary. The company revealed the design today, and it's impressive. The building, named The Bow, will make a big impact on our skyline. It'll be 59 stories high and stand a whopping 247 meters tall. It'll have 1.7 million square feet of office space. To put that in perspective, it will increase the overall space downtown by 25%. The building also comes with 1,400 parking spaces. It's this project that is the beginning of a very ambitious redevelopment in the east side of downtown Calgary. And Canna's building will soon rest at what will be the heart of Calgary's business center. The tower is expected to cost between 600 million and a billion dollars. A lot of people are talking about this, and one question being asked is how in Canna will find people to build it. We'll have more on that in a moment, but first, we want to give you a few more details about the project. The building will have two phases. The first will occupy the block directly east of the Petro Canada building between 5th and 6th Avenues. The second will take over the block where the Legion, York and St. Regis hotels stand now. The project was created by the British design group Foster and Partners. The firm is responsible for some of the most unique building designs in the world. Here now is a live shot of the area. The main site is just a parking lot right now. But the builder has an ambitious timetable for starting construction, possibly as soon as spring. Lane Fraser is at the site. Lane, this project will take thousands of workers to build. That's right, Daryl. In fact, we've learned it will take 2,000 workers to complete the project from start to finish. Now, with so many building projects underway and a labor shortage, many people are wondering where are those workers going to come from? So today, we went and talked to people on the front line in construction about the challenges they're already facing. This is the Westgate Park project on Bow Trail. Three towers are to be built here. The site is a hub of activity, but the labor foreman tells us he still needs more carpenters and laborers, even if they don't speak the language. How many of your workers are new to Calgary? Oh, 40 percent. So most can't speak English. Most are from Quebec, so it's French. Language is a problem. Kevin Hyberg grew up in Calgary. He's never seen a boom like this and wonders how Encana is going to get the workers it needs to build its massive tower. They're going to have a hard time. They've got their work cut out for them. So. And it's hard to keep guys, too. There's so many different job sites. Encana wants to start building in spring, but here's the reality. There are five major developments underway in the downtown core, including the new courthouse. Calgary Economic Development says contractors are learning to cope in a tight labor market. Some projects may be delayed, but they are still getting built. There's no doubt it's a tight labor market and contractors are having to be creative about how they manage their jobs. But uh, all in all, projects are getting done and uh, they're finding labor in various parts of Canada and the world to get them done, but it is happening. Back at the Westgate site, Corey Quinnell is thrilled to have a job. He moved here from Thunder Bay and found work immediately. <laughs> I just walked on and said, oh, I heard you need guys. They were like, yep, you're hired. You start tomorrow at 7. It was that easy. Bring a hard hat. As we are leaving, another potential worker is arriving, this time from New Brunswick. Looking at all the construction going on, and so give it a shot. <laughs> Do you have any uh, experience in construction? No. Just coming here just to work as a laborer for now and hopefully build off of that. And Canna's project developer says it's too early to say where the workers will come from, but it plans to work with contractors to come up with a strategy to get the workers on site and the project built on time. Lane Fraser, CTV News, Calgary. Tonight at 6.30, we'll go inside the building to see what's unique about the design. We go back to our top story now to take a closer look at the design of Encana's massive new tower. It's the vision of architects and engineers from London, England. And here's Sneha Kulkarni with an inside viewpoint. This design isn't just made to be eye-catching, there's a purpose. Every office on each of the 53 floors will have a window. The building will face southwest to allow it to capture as much sunlight as possible. Designers say that's going to cut down on heating bills. And it's not only a business plan, there's a retail component as well. Currently it is 59 floors. There are 53 floors of uh, office space for 
our employees. There's a couple of floors at the bottom for the retail. The tower will straddle either side of 6th Avenue Southeast at Center Street. With an atrium and walkways connecting the building to nearby hotels, it's built with a pedestrian in mind. The design is aerodynamic, cutting down on wind flow in the area, so people walking by don't have to be bothered by wind gusts. Unlike other Calgary office towers, this building won't have as much concrete. It'll be primarily built from steel and glass. Mayor Bronconi yeah. predicts it will soon become a landmark. The bow, as it is now called, will set a new standard in architectural excellence. It will be a landmark that defines Calgary as it will be incorporated with buildings that have now been famous. People who work here will be able to escape to a garden setting year round. There'll be three floors with sky gardens and both neighbors and the area aldermen are applauding the new development. The development of the bow effectively breaks the invisible barrier to the private sector investment east of Centre Street that has affected the area for over a decade. We get a lot of drug dealers and a lot of vagrants around who aren't necessarily up to any good. So I think with this large construction pro uh, program that uh, that would be cleared up. And Canada expects its office staff to be moving in by 2010. Now, Sneha, the BOA is a pretty lofty project. How does it stack up to other office buildings in our country? Barb, the architectures with Foster and Partners designed the bow to be the tallest building in office building in Calgary. It will stand at 59 stories tall. That's six stories taller than the than the Petro Canada building, which is currently the tallest office tower in our city. Now, in comparison, the largest office tower in Canada stands at 72 stories tall. That's first Canadian place in Toronto. But there's one tower that dwarfs them all. That's the Taipei 101 tower in Taiwan. It wins the top seat for height, coming in at 101 stories. Now, to put that into perspective, that tower is twice the height of what the bow will be. Okay, thanks, Neha.